Hello there. Um, yeah, it's still a little bit bright out here. Um, <laughs> and it's definitely hot, so keeping the AC on. So, uh, a little bit late on this review, but <clears throat> not too late. Uh, not like the Fast X review where I was like a, a week late. But um, here's my video review for the 2023 Little Mermaid. This is the live action remake. Another one of these Disney live action remakes that they've been doing for at least 10 years at this point. It's, we've gotten so many of these goddamn things. Um, but uh, this time they're tackling Little Mermaid again. And <clears throat> it essentially follows the same, it basically is the same movie as the, the, the original L Little Mermaid. Um, just a few additional things. And of course they're doing it with live action. Um, <clears throat> and uh, if you know me and you know, if you've been watching some of my older reviews, you know I can't stand these Disney live action remakes. I just can't. Um, these movies have been either complete, utter garbage that bastardizes the original, or they've been okay. Um, I don't think there's a single one of these remakes where I'm like, oh, I, I really love that. No. Um, really not one of these movies that I would actually like say is a great movie um because and that actually most of them are total garbage anyway um the last one of these I've watched I know there's been a so many of these like every year the last one I think I watched was the the Lion King remake which I that was my breaking point with these movies and I was like I can I don't think I can ever watch any of these remakes like going forward I that movie broke me like it r literally broke me sitting there and sitting in that theater hating every second of it feeling the soul of the original completely vanish with every frame of it and then people just started clapping at the end of it like oh i jesus christ um so yeah i i am not at all a fan of these remakes i think they're they're just completely pointless um now not all of them there are a few of them where i watched them and even though i may not have liked them they were still they still had nuggets of good things in there like the aladdin remake i i didn't think it was a good movie like at all but there were seeds of what could have been a really fun movie in there and there's there's a lot of these a lot of parts of some of the more better remakes that I think could lead up to a, a much like a movie that might even be as good as the original just in its own different way um so I went into this this Little Mermaid remake with the same apprehension I've been in been having with all these other remakes I was just expecting to hate this like with all my heart because I, I am a big fan of the original Little Mermaid, um, much like I am with all the other uh, Disney, like the Disney Renaissance movies. Um, and for the most part, I still don't wouldn't say this is a great movie, but this is definitely one of the better remakes. This, this movie, for the most part, I actually really enjoyed it. Um, now, there are a lot of things that hold it back, like a, a lot of the other remakes have been held back, but there's a lot of good things in here, and for the most part, it does work. Um, now, I'll get to the things, I'm going to start with the things I don't think work, that I think don't work about this movie and this remake first. Um, the the live action... The, the pro the main problem I have with this movie is the same I have with all the other movies. What we don't need, we really don't need this movie, and we don't need any of these remakes um, because they really, they not only most of them are complete remakes frame by frame almost of the original, but they're just not. You can tell that there's just not the passion that the original movies had. Um, now. Um, and also, like the like what they do with some of the side characters in a lot of these remakes, like what Lion King did with Timon and Pumbaa, or pretty much all the animals in that movie, 
fuck that movie. I seriously don't know why people like it. Um, but uh, this movie does kind of the same thing with characters like Sebastian and Flounder and Scuttle. Um, now, it's not quite as uncanny as like the animals in uh, The Lion King because the the thing about this movie is that at least it does have actual humans that can actually you get you can actually get emotion from instead of just completely a bunch of CGI puppets. Um, that's the that's the thing I liked most about the Jungle Book remake as well because without Mowgli there, it, that movie just would have been just as bad as the uh, as the Lion King remake. But having that in there, it's still it's still a problem for me with how realistic they try to make these these creatures and these animals and they just it just looks weird and off off putting it just doesn't really work for me um and some of the actors in this one uh only a few of them i can say uh don't really seem to belong here and they don't really feel like they're putting that much effort into it mainly javier bardem who i I adore in pretty much everything I see him in, except when he does this. And you can tell that he he just he just doesn't really fit in this movie as King Triton. And um it it's not that he wasn't like it's not that he was terrible, it's just he was kind of wooden and there was a lot of what I call tennis ball acting because he's obviously acting with a bunch of like non- with a bunch of things he can't see on set and it's a lot of things that you know he's he's not really selling all the wonder about the movie um at least with the original that was there so it's it's kind of he he didn't really work for me in this movie um there's a few parts with Melissa McCarthy as Ursula, and for the most part, I think she does a really damn good job, uh, surprisingly, but there, there's a few moments in the movie that are really do stick out like a sore thumb, where it's, it's Melissa McCarthy comedy mode when, when those moments happen, like, for the most part, she's, she's really getting into the character of Ursula, much, and does the voice pretty, pretty damn well uh but those moments do kind of like stick out I was like okay now you're just being Melissa McCarthy um and I I do like her of I I don't hate Melissa McCarthy like 10 years ago if I w when I heard if this remake came out 10 years ago and I heard that Melissa McCarthy was going to be Ursula I'd be like no that's not going to work at all but she's been doing a lot of great uh performances in like more dramatic movies uh the one uh I can't remember the name uh is it can you ever forgive me I think she was nominated for an Oscar for that movie um she's a perfectly capable actress when she wants to be I just don't like her comedies um but uh then there's a few moments where um some for the most part the CGI is good but there's a lot to the to like some of the CGI and it that does look weird um it's c coming you know coming off of Avatar the Way of Water and how revolutionary the water effects in that movie looked it, it is a little weird uh seeing something like this and it's obviously not going to be as good or as polished as Avatar's effects are but it's still not going to be it's not going to be totally so, like it's not going to sell you as much and it, the investment's not going to be as there as you would like to like it to be but um now I'm going to move on oh and I'll oh I was about to forget so for the most most of the movie has all the songs that you remember from the original movie there's a few that got left out um but they uh the additional songs that they, they have in there are from Lim Manuel Miranda who I his whose work I love um but his songs and his input inputted songs in this movie didn't really fit with the rest of the the tone of the movie there's one in particular with uh Aquafina's Scuttle and David Diggs as Sebastian that really completely does not fit with this movie at all that happens like near the beginning of the third act and I was like oh that that did not work in this movie at all um but for the most part um and this is where i'm going to transition into 
my positives for the movie, which are quite, quite, uh, quite a lot compared to a lot of other Disney remakes. So, um, the songs in the movie are done incredibly well. Um, unlike a lot of other remakes, which completely skimp out or just like straight up butcher songs that they that they tried to redo in the originals this movie at least had the common courtesy to completely it completely um does all the songs that you remember and it does is it, it isn't afraid to go all out with it and the the songs in the original movie are iconic they're timeless and there's no reason to cut them down and how they do it in this movie is is well done the the musical scenes are very well directed actually uh this movie is directed by rob marshall and the movie for the most part is well directed uh compared to a lot of these other remakes um it there's there's a there's more passion to this one than there is with some of the others like lion king and mulan it just felt so lifeless there was no like and those are directed by good directors um the lion king remake and the mulan remake but you couldn't really tell by how they were put together this one i can feel more of the energy behind the camera uh there's there's more to it and uh, <clears throat> i i listed some of the actors that didn't really work for me like javier bardem but the other actors in the movie actually do work quite a lot and um we have to talk about Halle Bailey in this movie as Ariel. She is incredible in this movie. Uh, I think she absolutely did a wonderful job. Not only does she sing incredibly well, her voice is just fantastic. Um, she really does sell the character of Ariel very well in live action here. Um, she, she's not trying to copy, she's obviously not trying to copy what the cartoon did. She does, she has a really great screen presence to her. Um, the scenes where, um, <clears throat> when her, when she can't talk, uh, when she's taught, when she's with, uh, Prince Eric in the, in the movie, uh, she really works well in those scenes it, with, with just her facial expressions. And she really sells all those scenes well. Um, and the guy who plays Prince Eric is very good in the movie. Um, I can't remember his name off the top of my head right now, um, but he he did a very good job in this as well. There's these two actors. I think the the charisma they both have, and they really have great chemistry in the movie as well. They those two are the things that really feel like they're the heart of this remake. And without it, it would have. I think this would have been just as bad as the others. But there is there's good there's a good amount of effort put into that love story in the movie and i do i do give them props for um putting that effort in because uh it really does it pulls you in more uh without all the other you know fan service moments that are straight up from the original um <clears throat> so yeah and uh what was i about to say yeah i i think um I, I did criticize the CGI bit for looking to Uncanny Valley for some of the characters, but the movie is very colorful, unlike The Lion King or um, even Mulan, which um, this movie and the trailers actually kind of like misrepresented how the movie would look because the trailers for this movie were so dark and so dim and the colors were so muted. I was really afraid this movie was going to be just ugly for, for the entirety when it's underwater. Um, but actually for the most part, it is extremely colorful. Um, the, the ocean stuff is all great, is all pretty much greatly shot. And, um, there's not too much of that dark dismal stuff that you might've seen from the trailer. Um, I, I don't think the trailers represented the movie quite, quite that good. Um, but yeah, overall, like this remake, unlike so many of the others does not, it didn't feel like they were cha changing stuff for the worse, because that was my biggest problem with Mulan or the Lion King and even some parts of Aladdin, because those movies felt they were copying so much of the original, but at the same time, they felt like they were purposefully trying to change so much of like what made those originals so good like 
um, with changing all, like, how Mulan, instead of having Mulan be this timid and, you know, very normal person who, who's learning the skills to fight, in the beginning of it, it just straight up makes her a superhero. Like, that completely bastardizes what the original is trying to do. Um, and it, it doesn't even work in that new movie because they do the, the exact same plot and they do the exact same story and it doesn't work. Um, and same thing with The Lion King. Like, there's so many... There's little details that can create... Like, that can create such a good story and yet they feel like they're so... They're so cowardly in doing that and changing things that didn't need to be changed. And the new and the Little Mermaid, uh, this remake doesn't change a lot, but it keeps a lot of what made the original likable. That's I think that's what's gonna separate this for from some of the other remakes. And I think um, if you're w worried about that going into this movie, and that's why maybe you're hesitant about it because maybe you weren't a fan of the other remakes. Um, I think you, I think you'll you might actually enjoy this a lot more because they they don't change a whole lot and they keep a lot a lot of the same little details that make it you know, make the story as good as it was. Um, I still would like to see a darker uh, telling of the Little Mermaid that follows the book uh, that follows more of what the book did because if you don't know the the book is dark. Uh, the original story that's based on is incredibly dark, and the Disney movies are nothing like that at all. So, yeah, I overall, with a few of the major gripes that I still have with all the other remakes, if I was just, if I hadn't seen all the other, you know, new remakes that came out from Disney over the past five years or so, and I just saw this, I wouldn't have this probably the same apprehension about this one that I did about the others because this one at least I felt like there was actual effort into this remake than I did with the others um and that's not really saying much because I still don't think this is that great of a movie but I did come out of it enjoying it and I that's more than I can say for a lot of what Disney's put out recently so I'm gonna give this movie a 7 out of 10 it I'm not saying this is a must-see movie but if you're going to see this movie at all, definitely see it on the big screen because I do think it's it's worth it just for how colorful it is and all the songs, sequences are great and it sounds great. So, yeah, uh, take that what you will. Tell me what you guys thought of this uh, remake of The Little Mermaid and uh, stay tuned for more.